well just being able to drive it at all. All right, guys, catch you in a sec. Man, I got a WD up this door. Hey, what's going on, bro? <laughs> what's going on? Stare right at us. Look at us. <laughs> just holding the fucking camera at you, dude. Yeah, kind of like oh my god. Flashback to the end of the video. No. <laughs> she's an older girl, but you just gotta love her equally the same. And I mean, she's got a lot more power, so of course that's amazing. So let's start her up, cold start. And I got this right here. Give her a second. Oh yeah, so it's right up. Basically no delay. It's 80 degrees now, believe it or not. It's just it's ridiculous out here today, and I love this weather. It feels so good. Perfect vlogging weather. Engine sounds so good. Let's get home. Man, I love this truck so much, honestly. So listen to that engine. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got a WD-40 out of this, but oh, it's hot in here, gosh. Transitioning, man, it's always the hardest thing, you know? It's feels hot now but realistically this is going to be cool I feel as if the cool weather is going to be coming back soon so i'm going to try to enjoy this as much as possible and i still do want to talk to you guys about this truck and problems that have occurred well not really problems but issues and something very important that i can't just let go and not let you guys something that i should have let you know for a while but i wanted to get a perfect top someone's car broke down i think over there oh man looks like you got some help so we're good to go I didn't realize that until later, but I do have the block heater and I have the exhaust brake. And I think you probably all have the tow haul mode, but I love using all of them. guys so i just added it onto my phone all right guys so on my phone i added and logged when i put the transmission and fuel additive in i also logged whenever i did the delete tune the water pump the coolant flush the ccv filter change and reroute i did the ccv reroute right after that and then i did the intake and the egr delete and all that throw valve and egr cooler delete so i document everything that happens basically service modifications and anything just fluid change basically oil change i'll add that too i just want to document everything about these trucks so i'll always know and when i need to do something else again obviously people that don't do this well they won't be able to keep track and if they have a good enough memory well well and good for them but i'd rather keep an actual written log so what i wanted to show you guys is this what's in this right here and if you can read that it says important safety recall please see inside for important safety recall information relating to your vehicle fca which stands for fiat chrysler automobiles and they are in charge of alfa romeo chrysler dodge fiat jeep ram mopar and srt so let's open her up there we go all right and i'm gonna be pretty brief about this i obviously don't want to read the whole thing because it would just get kind of boring but it says the 
the notice is sent to you in accordance with the National Traffic and Motor Vehicle Safety Act. Why does my vehicle need repairs? It says, FTA has decided that a defect which related to motor vehicle safety exists in a certain 2011 Ram 2500 vehicles equipped with a column shifter automatic transmission. This safety recall does not affect vehicles equipped with a rot rotary or floor shifter or manual transmission. I have an automatic shifter and it's right here. Just as it just as it says here, a column shift automatic transmission. The brake transmission shift interlock BTSI locking pin on your vehicle may become stuck in the open position. A BTSI locking pin stuck in the open position may allow the transmission to be shifted out of park into any into any gear without depression of the brake pedal and or without the key in ignition if key is applicable. So it's saying that the transmission can shift out of park when the key is not even in the in the vehicle. So that means when the when the vehicle's off, it can shift out of park and it can roll so that is that is honestly terrible it says this remedy for this condition is not currently available we are making every effort to finalize the remedy and obtain parts as quickly as possible and we'll service your vehicle free of charge parts and labor that's amazing so it says yeah you got to visit recalls.mopar.com help for more information yada 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 and i already signed up for the thing online that you're able to put your information in there and then be able to send in be sent a notification whenever a fix is available and I have not gotten any email notification or text message. I think I signed up for both, possibly, I forget. Either one will actually come to my phone, and I haven't gotten any information about the recall yet, so I guess there is no fix. And, oh yeah, and I did say in the paper that to to be able to not have your vehicle roll is to use the parking brake. Now, I know...